director of Farm Biotechnology and Traditional Medicine Center based here at Mbara University of Science and Technology and I'm also a senior lecturer in the biology department of the same university. Farm Biotrack, as you know, is one of the 24 Africa Higher Education Centers of Excellence established here at MAST around 2015 when the IUCA gave a call for establishing centers of excellence we were requested to participate on behalf of the university given that we have strength and track record in the, uh, doing research in this field and also training of graduate students. And so on the basis of this, um, Farm Boy Track um, was established. At Farm Boy Track, we're providing a, a regional platform to deliver quality postgraduate uh, studies, training, research, innovation, including exploring the use of indigenous knowledge and medicinal plants in Africa. So how it is done here at Farm by Track is that we get highly talented research focused students, not just only in Uganda but across Africa, to come to Farm by Track and we provide them with the necessary support that means uh, tuition and other financial research for research and also we assemble high quality um, international staff, including uh, staff of math, to provide training for these students in the field of um, traditional medicine and farm biotechnology. And there are some farm biotrack specific disciplines these students uh, uh, enroll on, such as Master of Pharmacy in Clinical Pharmacy, Master of uh, Science in Pharmacology, um, Microbiology, uh, Biology, and, and also Pharmaceutical Analysis. When I realized that Mbarala University had started on these courses under a Biotrack project. And they had selected very wonderful courses like Pharmacognosy and Natural Medicine Science, and they were offering even PhDs and Masters at this, at this level, which was not happening anywhere in this country. We got assistance from stakeholders and we developed and implemented the first ever Masters of Clinical Pharmacy program in Uganda and one of the very few in the East African region. So the field of traditional medicine, natural medicine has not been good, well developed because we do not have scientists who are focused on them. But now we have scientists at masters and PhDs who have interest in the field and they are putting their energy. So in five, ten years time, we're going to begin seeing things coming up. I think COVID is a good example. At Farm Bedrock, we are indeed a model because as you know quality parameters. Uh, this is cutting across with, with being, um, doing excellent research, um, uh, being the best in the training uh, the, the students in your field, um, be it uh, management, administration, financial management, all what you can think of being quality is what we, we, we the center strives to be associated with and that's what we live. So we are kind of role model.